New Year, The Twilight Zone, Polly Shore, and a box all have in common? Well, not much, but I'm going to touch base on all of these things today. Anyway, welcome to the Reinvent Your Reality podcast, episode nine of season three. I'm your host, Jen Palco. Happy New Year. New Year, new you, right? We're going to talk about that today. Why everybody loves starting fresh. It's a new year. Hey, but it's really just a construct of the mind. I mean, it's not like December 31st was any different than January 1st, really. It was just in your head, right? Um, but anyway, I uh, I was inspired to do this podcast. Um, actually, uh, I saw a friend of mine who I've known for a long time. I went to acupuncture school with her. And um, she was talking about... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> something called this is where the box is going to come in so she was talking about how um she she had remodeled her office and everything and she wanted to put an air fryer in it and all like toaster oven and like all these things in the waiting room she's like oh it'll be comfortable for the um for my patients and you know and um and her significant other really had a problem with it. And he's like, you can't, that belongs at home in a kitchen. And you, you can't put an air fryer in an office. Come on. And then she started talking about getting out of the box. And the idea that, okay, it's a medical office. You need to have a separate waiting room, a separate kitchen, a separate bathroom, a separate treatment room. And she's like, why? Why can't I make it homey for people? And just as she has spent a lot of time here. And why can't I put a damn air fryer in my office if I'm here most of the days of the week and it's my home away from home? And I just I just laughed because it was funny and she was really adamant about it, like getting this air fryer in her office. And I'm like, oh, I hope she doesn't burn the office down. But maybe it's a safety hazard i don't know but uh what's what's wrong with having you know a little air fryer a little microwave oven or something in your office you know it's not professional looking i don't know but anyway um so that's why i wanted to get into this idea of the box today so um i uh you know i had a pretty good new year's i don't know about you um i wouldn't say i went out and partied you know what i did i sat on my chair with a big bowl of party mix and watched the twilight zone marathon on um sci-fi so if you're not familiar with the twilight zone came out in what the 1950s 1960s and um it's such a good show such a good show uh i highly highly recommend it and why do people like me like the twilight zone why well, because it makes us think outside the box. It makes us think outside the box. Each episode basically revealed a truth about humanity. Uh, it tapped into society's greatest fears. It predicted many future events, insights such as AI, automation, the quest for alien life, the idea of time travel, living forever, the chaotic nature of the mind, and questioning reality you know, versus mental illness. So super, super good show. Uh, and uh, yeah, that, that's how I spent my time. And, you know, people like these kind of shows and I like these kind of shows because they make us think. They make us question our reality in this thing called a box. Um, and, uh, you know, today I'm using the box as an analogy for our constructed illusion of the comfort zone. OK, the, the constructs of societal and social conformity um, on us and the constructs of our own minds. All right. Uh, you know, this box. And I always think of uh, Brad Pitt in Seven. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? You'd get it if you've seen the movie. <laughs> but the box appears to have thick, solid walls with no windows or a way out. Yet, if you just sidestepped a few feet, you'd see that there isn't, in fact, a solid wall or boundary. So how am I going to tie this in today with... New year, new you. All right. So I Googled, I looked up the top most popular New Year's resolutions for 2023. And gee, can you guess what they are? <laughs> they are basically the same ones as 2022. So number one, exercise more. Number two, eat healthier. Number three, lose weight. Number four, save more money. And number five, spend more time with family and friends. That one's not bad. Okay, exercise more, vague, eat healthier, vaguer, lose weight, vaguest, <laughs> save more money, okay, better, spend more time with family and friends, that one's okay. Um, but I'm going to give you five of uh, kind of updated resolutions, a little more detailed, more fun resolutions uh, for yourself. But 
why is it that we have these resolutions every year? Um, why do we have to make them every year? If we stuck to our goals, we wouldn't have to constantly start over. And that's where I'm tying in this, this idea of this box, this comfort zone, um, you know, uh, our roles, our responsibilities and living outside the box and um, all these kind of things. So, you know, if you think about it, resolutions are mostly about thyself and not thy neighbor. Hence, the slogan, new year, new me, right? Um, except for that last one, spending more time with family and friends. And um, But, you know, advertising is a big is a big role in, in something like a new year and, and feeling, I guess, what is it about like January 1st, 2nd, 3rd, whenever you decide to start your exercise program, you start fresh. It's like, oh, the year has been so long and I've been through so much and it's like a struggle. Um, and it's because of this box. It's because of this box. So have you ever seen, I think it's, is it Encino? No, not Encino, man. Oh my goodness. That that has Polly Shore in it. But um, Biodome, that's with Polly Shore. Biodome, where he's in like the, the dome of uh, like this, this world kind of like it's kind of like our box and it's like you have everything you need to sustain you and this is kind of like our comfort zone but um but you realize there's like there's like a wall you can't escape you know you can't you can't go beyond this this dome um if you think of like a football dome or something that's kind of what it's like it you know in appearance um but our box is is not doesn't actually have walls <laughs> you know it's it's just in our mind it it does. And, um, yeah. It doesn't actually have borders. Think about that. There's no barrier to, um, to your greatness, I guess you could say. So, um, why am I talking about this? Okay. So resolutions, right? Resolutions. I don't believe in resolutions because they're made to be broken. Um, but if we have very vague resolutions, um, you know, you got to ask yourself, why, why do I want to do this? What's my why, right? That, that's basically the, uh, the, the gist of it. Um, but we're very just kind of marketed to, um, to stay in this box, to stay in this comfort zone place. Um, and it's the difference between actual life-threatening um, and what's outside of the box being like life-threatening and what our mind thinks is life-threatening danger, okay? So if we, we step beyond this little comfort zone, safe zone we've built for ourselves, say, um, you know, we get to a point where we get uncomfortable with, uh, with torturing ourselves, you know, we're all revved up the new year, we're all excited and inspired to, to lose weight, to, you know, be motivated, inspired. But what happens when that motivation wears off and we have to just kind of maintain ourselves and it gets boring and it gets dull and we've kind of come down from the high of this, um, you know, little bit of energy backing that we have because other people are doing the same thing and we really, we're gonna do it this time, we're gonna do it. Um, you know, you get to a point where it's almost like you reach the edge of that box, that uh, imaginary barrier, and you can't cross over. And you're like, ooh, ooh, there's a barrier here. There's a wall here. There's there's something here, and it's blocking me from, from continuing on past February or March or, or whatever it is for you, December, you know, uh, where you have to keep starting over. And what it's like basically when we start over and this brings, you know, the new year is the perfect time for this. Um, any really milestone mark or date um, revs us up. It gives us that high. It gives us that little bit of fire, that little bit of burning that we need to kind of boost our motivation again, okay? But then that eventually fizzles a little bit, right? And we get to the edge of that box and we can't seem to cross the threshold of the box. It's too scary. Suddenly it's threatening or we don't feel safe anymore, it's, you know? Um, but a lot of it, it's... Not so much, you know, it, it's kind of like, um, 
you know, going outside the box in society is considered unsafe. It's considered weird. It's the fear that people will judge you once you go outside of it, that you're going, you're straying too far from your former self, from who everybody knows you, who you know yourself as. Um, and they're like, what are you doing? Are you nuts? You're going outside the box. It's like putting the air fryer and you're, are you nuts? What are you doing? So it's kind of like breaking up the matrix. It's kind of like breaking up the mold. And, uh, it's kind of like being in the twilight zone where something just isn't, uh, isn't right. Right. It's kind of like eating beef for breakfast. And, uh, I don't know why it's acceptable to be eggs and pancakes for dinner, but we can't have like pot roast for breakfast. I've had this conversation before. I mean, maybe our taste buds don't crave it, but I'm sure if we ate it, like we would, because we would just get accustomed to it. My mother used to kind of yell at me, not yell at me, but like, uh, always say something to me because I, I, I try to eat like gluten and dairy free, so I don't eat a lot of bread unless it's like a gluten free bread. Um, and some of them are really awful. So I would have like a dinner for lunch. I'd have like rice and chicken and, you know, a vegetable. And she'd be like, why can't you just have a sandwich? She's like, that's a dinner. You need to save that for dinner. And I'm like, what's the big deal? You know, what's the big deal? So think about, you know, is there anything you do in your life that people have issue with that they think is weird or they think is completely outside the box? Um, you know, so it's like, uh, you know, and this is why I think we give up on, on resolutions because we're doing it more for, for our egos and not because we actually want it. We actually want to change. I mean, maybe we do for a little while, but then we realize, oh, I, I kind of feel safe in the box because nobody will judge me here. Um, I, I don't feel threatened. I feel kind of in my safe zone. And if I go too far out, you know, if I go beyond this biodome, then, you know, if I break a hole through it, this imaginary barrier, then um, then I'm going to be judged I'm, I'm gonna my life is in in jeopardy uh but it's not it's just the, what our mind thinks is dangerous to us um because our brain just does that okay human instinct to protect defend stay safe safe in the box do not put an air fryer in your office people <laughs> you just can't you just can't that doesn't make sense nothing makes sense in the world okay so um So like I said, the resolutions, exercise more, eat healthier, lose weight, save more money, spend more time with family and friends. I have some more fun ones for you guys today. Um, Some more fun ones inspired by the Twilight Zone and uh, my own my own thoughts. All right. (laughs) So it's all about the wisdom. More mindful, more realistic resolutions for you. Number one. I don't know if I could read my own handwriting here because I'm messy. Number one. Okay. Instead of exercise more, why don't we go with my resolution is to simplify movement, to take more walks out in nature instead of buying really expensive and fancy looking exercise machines that while conveniently double as a nice coat rack will inspire me and inspire me to move not out of necessity but out of my own fulfillment oh I read that wrong I meant to say it could double as a coat rack and torture device Okay, so that's number one resolution number two instead of eat healthier let's go with my resolution is to eat and slowly savor the damn piece of decadent chocolate Oreo cake if it truly lights my soul on fire and not for only my emotional avoidance and band-aid. I know this one very, very well. The resolution to give up all sugar forever is definitely not realistic because who does that? Who does that? Unless you want to be just like uh, a depressed slug for the rest of your life and never have a piece of chocolate or a cookie or, and your spirit is like, come on, (gasps) I'm dying here. I'm dying. You're depressing me. All right. Actually savoring food. Okay. It doesn't mean eat like bingey. Okay. It means savoring food, tasting it, experiencing it. That actually will give your body energy. It gives your body chi. Uh, you know, according to um, the late uh, Lillian Bridges, who I do love. Um, you know, she mentioned this and I'm like, you're right. You know, if you eat like a really good piece of cake and you really really want it okay you've been wanting it all day um 
and not not to just fill a void of emotion just because you want to taste the flavors and the ingredients and how somebody put work into this decadent piece of cake right or savor an oreo because it it reminds you of being a kid there's nothing wrong with that so give it this like black and white thinking and that that's where resolutions um can be troublesome because it's like we got to be in the gray somewhere and make modifications because you got to be able to maintain this stuff, right? So anyway, so let's see. Number three, um, lose weight. Number three, where am I? Uh, all right. I don't know if this is the number three that I had, but, um, yeah. Okay. My resolution is to question reality and all of its existence to travel in this space and time as a wiser and more evolved form of consciousness instead of a three-dimensional Kardashian twin. Enough said. Uh, number four, save more money. Save more money. My resolution is to think outside of the box when it comes to creating finances in my life to take inventory of how many flat screen televisions and expensive tech gadgets... I actually do need in my home for human survival and to stop the insane, crazy obsessions over situations and circumstances that have not taken place yet in this reality. Okay, enough said. And number five, spend more time with family and friends. That one's nice, but it's very vague, right? What does more time actually mean? Like when you're setting goals for yourself, you need to be more specific. Put a time frame on it. Um, you know, uh, like who, which friends, online friends, you know, uh, friends that you actually see that kind of stuff. So my updated resolution, my resolution is to be less of an asshole projecting my own insecurities and massive fears out on others for my ego's own personal picnic and to become more pe pe uh, uh, compassionate, compassion, compassion, man, compassion. Um, I don't know. I don't know if those are good or not. Witty, whatever. But how big is your box, bro? How big is your box? Hmm? And do you even like Polly Shore, bro? Do you like Polly? Do you like Polly Shore movies? He's um, he's questionable. Like, <laughs> I kind of like his movies because they're so bad. Yet there's goofiness about him that I like, and he seems kind of like, I don't know. He's just like a funny dude, you know. Um, not everybody's cup of tea, for sure. So, 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 you're traveling through another dimension, a dimension not out of sight and sound, but of mind, a journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. Next stop, the twilight zone. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension, a dimension of sound, a dimension of sight, a dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've crossed over into the twilight zone. Just gotta say. <laughs> Just gotta say. Um, so anyway, that's kind of all I got for you today. Uh, <laughs> I... I was trying to do this podcast yesterday and uh, there's so much noise in my neighborhood and I, unfortunately I don't have like soundproof walls here when I do these and they're building, you know, more luxury apartments in town and ugh, I, I could do a whole podcast just venting on that, but it's just been like, I think they have two guys working on this entire apartment because they've been working on it for months, literally and every single day from like 8 a.m. till like uh, it seems like 6 p.m um there's the sound of loud construction trucks and banging and hammering and oh my god so i was ready to do i don't know if you're going to care about this story but i'm just a little vent session here a little vent sesh uh i was right about to do the podcast yesterday and i got so angry because just as i came up here sound of this loud truck shifting gears and i'm like i can't do this this whole the whole track is gonna have like a truck in the background noise it was really loud and then in the morning there it was like guys cutting down a tree and i'm just like oh man and rate i seem pretty calm don't i but i can get in fits of rage when you know full moon yesterday and man whew, 
anyway it wasn't the right time to do it so i'm doing it today and uh, and it seems a little bit better even though i had a little mic mic trouble uh this morning so anyway wishing you uh a great year ahead. Uh, I'm so happy, you know, you're listening in to this podcast. New year, new things on the horizon, new you, new me. Um, but just think about uh, what I said about the box, okay? And this notion that, oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. There's only one way to do this. There's only one way to lose weight. There's only one way to make money. There's only one way to set up your office. Um, you know, there, there's really not. It's just this this imaginary barrier um, that we've put on ourselves. And once we see, if we take a little, we get closer and closer to the barrier. And that's the point where um, it's really hard for a lot of folks to um, to go beyond that. You know, you could be inspired and you could do a little this, a little that, and you can get to that point. But once you get to that kind of edge of the cliff, um, you think that, there's not a, um, like, you're just going to fall off to your death. And that might not be the case. It's just your mind is projecting that there's actually, like, uh, you know, thousands and thousands feet a drop, a uh, foot drop. And, um, and there's not. Like, if you take a step, you'll realize, oh, man, there's still solid ground here. It was just my mind predicting that there was like a, it was like a mirage that, that I saw that my mind is projecting just because of past experiences or what I think is there. What I think is there, right? I think there's, there's water in front of me and it's all desert, right? The classic, uh, mirage in the, is that what mirage, right? Mirage in the, in the desert. Um, so think about that this year. Okay. What, is going to be different for you this year from last year or are you going to repeat the same patterns and we just we repeat the pie i mean it's fine to have resolutions it's, it's cool right but think about it did you make these resolutions last year and the year before or something similar to them and where did you get held up where did you stop how far did you get and why did you stop did you get bored you got tired um life just took over you got distracted by stuff you lost, you lost track of your why maybe, or you realize it was just all ego and all right, I don't actually want a six pack because it's just like grueling torture to not eat the things that I love to eat. And maybe there's a better way. Maybe there's this gray area that I can sit in um, where I still, still feel good. I still feel great. And it's what I want and not what I think I want based on what other people want or what other, (laughs) the funny thing is what you want and what other people want are probably similar. And you're probably trying to reach goals that are, um, both not aligned to you because you think that one or the other wants differently that, 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 that was just a pile of, of, I don't know if that made sense at all. Um, but let me see if I can sum it up better. Okay. So maybe the goal, a goal that you've set for yourself, you've set for yourself because you're like, oh, well, all these other people set the same goals and it's motivating and inspiring and I want to be like them. Um, but they could be thinking the, you know, but then deep down you're like, well, but is it really what I, is it really aligned to me? Is it really what I want? You know, do I really want to torture myself or do I want to, um, make it a little easier on myself and kind of live in this, this gray area where I can still be happy and healthy and, and focus on those things, um, rather than just how I look or something like that. Somebody else could be thinking the very same exact thing, um, and be misaligned in a sort of way. I don't know. I still, that probably still doesn't make sense, but, um, but just think about it, okay? And when you get to the edge of that illusionary barrier, just think of Rod Serling and the Twilight Zone and um, and this podcast and the air fryer in the office and say, okay, what's going to happen if I put an air fryer in my office? What's going to happen if I um, do things a little differently? What's going to happen if I don't have a nine to five this year? Can I still create? Can I still maintain? Can I still live? Or am am I really going to just explode? Is my head going to explode? That'd be messy. 
Like, am I gonna fall off a cliff? No, you're still on solid ground, man. You're still on solid ground. It's just um, your mind is preventing you from continuing. So that's my motivation for today. A little bit of inspiration, hopefully. Um, think outside the box. Not just, don't just, no. Don't just think outside the box. Because thinking outside the box is still just thinking, right? Go outside the box. Do something. If it scares you, that's okay. It's your, your human instinct, right? So anyway, folks, thanks for listening. Um, hope to, you know, do another one of these, these guys soon without truck noises and microphone issues and all kinds of stuff. But uh, thanks for listening in. Uh, if you want more, I'm still doing uh, weekly YouTube videos or trying to at least on my YouTube channel, YouTube dot com slash Jen Palco. That's kind of my main platform, uh, but I put these podcasts up on there as well. So they're on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, um, Google Podcasts, I believe, YouTube, um, if you want to see my face and um, and all kinds of stuff. So uh, on that note, have a great day, have a great year, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace out. Yeah.